fancy a quick swim? Thought not. For a start, it's freezing in there. Then there's the undercurrents. Strong enough to pull you down. And plenty of stuff to get snagged on. Look at this. It's meant to be a life belt here. Some vandals took it. So if you fall in, just think you survive. I doubt it. I'm George Parsonage, I'm the Life Officer of Glasgow Community Society. I'm Mark Gash, I'm the Assistant Officer in the Lifeboat in Glasgow Humane Society. The Lifeboat in Glasgow does uh, all the prevention of accidents from drowning, the rescue of persons in danger of drowning, and sometimes the recovery of bodies. One of the big problems we have in Glasgow is vandalism to life belts. I've seen us picking out 500 life belts per year. I mean, that's only the ones the Humane Society's getting, the lifeboat's getting. There are others that get washed up on the shore, that the boats that are in the river, the Pride of the Clyde, uh, the St Mungo boat, they're picking them up. Could be up to a thousand a year getting vandalised. The City Council are very good at putting life belts along the length of the River Clyde uh, for the safety of the citizens who, for any reason, fall into the water. But uh, the same citizens are silly enough that frequently they dump them into the... They, they just vandalise them, throw them into the water. At least now we have life belts that are almost vandal-proof, though I have seen somebody burning one. When someone falls into the river, the first thing you look for is a life belt to throw to them. If you have a life belt and a rope, you can throw the life belt to the person, and using the rope, you can pull the person to the side. But at least if you throw them the life belt, they've got something to hang on to until help arrives. And these life belts are there to save people who fall into the river. Within the last week, we, uh, we've had two rescues in the, in the same place, uh, four days apart from each other and on both occasions the person in the water was kept afloat using a life belt. The strange thing was it was the only life belt along that stretch of river, along that section, because all the other life belts had been thrown into the river, unfortunately, so that same life belt, as I say, was used four days later. We have tourists that go out in the Pride of the Clyde, and well, they're, they're coming up the river and somebody runs to the key wall and throws a bottle at them. And we've had even the people injured doing that. We have people go out in racing boats here and somebody throws a brick at them off the river. Now, not only could it split their head open, it could just give them a fright and they capsize and they could end up drowning. It's mental, man. Why is vandalism dangerous near the river? Who's at risk when life belts are vandalised? If you saw someone fall in the river, what would you do? 